Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. We are standing outside the Masjid Sabah Al Ahmad in within the Camera Islamic Center complex today, Friday, the 1st of September 2023. And we have with us here our sister Azra Khan, who is to be the president of this uh, center. What's going on today, sister Azra? Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Yes, today, inshallah, we will have a big collection, a big donation drive for uh, the project that we are rolling out in, in the ACT, which is uh, Islamic Scripture classes in, uh, in ACT public schools. Uh, and inshallah, today is all about celebrating where we are up to and inshallah, collecting, doing a good collection so that we can uh, expand the number of schools. Uh, so inshallah, in 2024, we hope to have another 10 schools uh, that where we will be teaching uh, one, a half an hour lesson uh, to our uh, Muslim students on uh, Islamic studies, inshallah. So what you are saying, Islamic studies is now being taught at the ACT public school system. That's right. We are uh, in 2023 piloting this program in three pilot schools on the north of Canberra. And uh, alhamdulillah, it is going very, very well. We have around 250 odd students enrolled across those three schools. And we have uh, 18 or so teachers that are trained and are uh, de delivering the lessons, inshallah. So what's the message for parents who definitely have children in the public school system? The message to parents is please look out to see when your school is going to offer uh, uh, the Islamic uh, uh, studies classes. Uh, so this is the plan, inshallah, in 2023 we are in Neville Bonner Primary, Amaru and Gangalan College. In 2024 we will be in these all these schools here. Some of them are in the south. So. So the message to parents is, if your school is not here yet, inshallah, we will get it there. Uh, we will need your, uh, your request uh, to the principal before we can teach there. So please contact us and inshallah, we will do our best. How can parents or non-parents but are Muslims um, contribute to this program, this initiative? Uh, well, like today, today is all about uh, uh, the, the community coming behind this and supporting this uh, this program, and we are collecting uh, funds for us to be able to train our teachers, provide our students with uh, with that's right with um, with the information and the resources that they need, inshallah. So, so that is how you can c get behind it. You can come forward and volunteer to teach Islam too. We have registrations open. Uh, and so we are taking in a whole new batch of uh, teachers. Uh, we have about 30 being trained uh, this weekend. And if you are interested in teaching, if you are interested in administration to support uh, this program, please come and, uh, and uh, register and uh, contact us as, as soon as possible. Is this a first for Australia or other states and territories have been doing this? No, this is, uh, well, it's the first in the ACT. Uh, I don't believe this program has been run here in, uh, in public schools. Uh, it does exist in uh, New South Wales and uh, we must acknowledge the efforts of uh, the Islamic Council of New South Wales and AEIS and uh, ISRE who are the, the, the more experienced uh, providers of Islamic education in the New South Wales, in New South Wales schools. So we have been collaborating with them and as a result we have been able to uh, use their uh, syllabus um, and their materials and have uh, basically they have been supporting this uh, our building our capability in, in this field. So uh, it, is a, it is not a first for Australia by all means but it is uh, the first time we are teaching Islam in the ACT. And the ACT is the capital of Australia. Camera. That's right. MashaAllah. This is so moving. This is so important upon the Muslims that this has to succeed. Inshallah, inshallah, and we we feel that uh, the teachers are seeing the value of this, and the parents are seeing the value of this, and we are hoping the students will be gaining uh, some greater insight into their faith, and which will spark them to do, you know, more of their own research because it's only a one lesson a week. But inshallah, that is enough, I think, within the school environment for our children to get you know that identity that they are muslims and they have a wonderfully rich faith that they need to learn more about finally um
who is Azra Khan in this program, in this initiative? Um, that's a good question. Uh, I, I, you could say that I, I, I saw the gap, I saw the need, and alhamdulillah, I researched it. I talked to the community, to the parents, and to the to the New South Wales providers and the Canberra Islamic Centre, and everyone was very much in support of it. So, so alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm in a very fortunate position to be able to do this work. I am, I'm simply doing the work here. Inshallah. May Allah accept this for you. Can I just say there is a massive team as yes, well? Yes. Uh, I should recognize all yes. the members who are have come on board and are doing uh, this wonderful work yes. uh, as teachers, administrators, uh, IT yeah. people, database people. Uh, we've got imams, we've got Imam Konda, we've got Imam Hamza on the north side. Uh, so many so many people have collaborated, north and south and every everywhere. So there are no barriers here. We are delivering this across all schools that are interested and where parents are interested to have this. We are proud of you as a role model for our daughters. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, CIC under the Risco business name of ACT Islamic Education Services. MashaAllah, it has been very successful with over 250 students and Lord and 18 volunteer teachers teaching one lesson each week over the last uh, three times of the school. This Islamic Studies program in the school is provided free of charge to families. The community needs to support this work, so please donate to this program. Please donate here today, this is this Friday. This program is not for profit, and parents are not asked to pay for it. It is free, but as a community, we need to support it and make sure it can continue to provide this free to all Muslim students in public school. Today, CIC and the program of the system is seeking donation from the community. The money will cover the various costs, including resources for students, including uh, workbooks, worksheets, volunteer teachers training se sessions, volunteer teacher uh, packs, including printing of teaching materials such as the syllabus, the students' awards, certificates, and prizes. IT hardware and software, including in classroom aids such as tablet and screen. You can pay via credit card on the Air Force uh, terminals there here today or in cash in the boxes provided. This is a flyer being distributed. And, uh, and the last page says the product is expanding to 10 new schools in 2024, which includes the following Caroline uh, Chisholm School, Garland Primary, Charles Ponder School, Menelos High, Camera College, Tolopsi or Tolopia Park High, Evelyn Scott School, Gold Creek School, Harrison School, and Lenium High School. Please register your child if they are attending at any of these schools, inshallah. This is just a brief which are our best to save our kids in the public schools. They are there to be real Australian citizens, but we cannot keep them disconnected from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us go uh, through and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive the death who passed away and keep us alive with Islam. Allah mafsul al muslimina wa muslimara wa muslimina 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 Sister Azra. Why did you talk to the school? Why did you talk to the school? Why did you talk to the school? Why did you talk to the school?